Today, Peppa and her family are in the fancy dress shop. They're looking for a Halloween costume. I hope we haven't left it too late to find a costume. Next, please. <laughs> Can I have a spooky vampire costume, please, Miss Rabbit? Sorry, Peppa. I'm afraid we've just sold our last vampire costume. <gasps> oh. Uh, not to worry, Peppa. We'll find a different costume that's just as good. Right, Miss Rabbit? Uh, of course. Let's go and look. <laughs> Peppa is trying on different costumes. Ta-da! She tries a lemon. Lemons aren't as spooky as vampires. She tries a lovely flower. So lovely. It's lovely, but it isn't spooky. And even a... Whoa. Pencil. Gosh, hmm. how unusual. <laughs> Do you have any oh. spooky costumes left, Miss Rabbit? <gasps> I'm afraid we're all sold out. But we do have some spooky bits of costume left over. Maybe you can make a brand new monster, Peppa. Yes, let's go. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking for things to oh. make a spooky costume. What about these monster teeth? <laughs> Now my tooth is spooky. Look, Peppa, bat wings. <gasps> Very spooky. <gasps> Dinosaur tails are very spooky, oh. George. <laughs> spooky <gasps> hat, spooky <gasps> face paint, spooky spider web. <laughs> oh. Why don't we try these on? <laughs> Peppa is trying on her brand new <laughs> monster costume. Ah! <laughs> My word, that's the scariest costume I've ever seen. It's perfect. Peppa feels very <laughs> spooky in her Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa loves making spooky monster costumes. But Mummy and Daddy think the price is quite spooky too. <laughs> it is Halloween night and everyone is busy decorating pumpkins. There has been a power cut which has made all the lights in the house turn off. Oh dear. There must be something wrong with the electricity. Don't worry, I'll get the torches. <sighs> oh my! Mummy Pig has found the torches. Here we go. Now we can all see. <laughs> but I'm afraid the pumpkins will have to wait until we fix the electricity. I know. We can look for ghosts in the dark. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm a bit scared of ghosts. Can I keep my eyes shut? OK, I'll help you get around. Ghosts! <laughs> George wants to look for ghosts too. Sorry, George. You're too little. Huh? It will be too scary for mm -hmm. you. Now, follow me. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are looking for ghosts in the very spooky living room. Ooh. <gasps> it's a ghost! <laughs> it's not a ghost. It's just Gerald. Sorry, Peppa. I can't see with my eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> This is the spookiest room in the house. Now everyone is looking for ghosts in Peppa's bedroom. <gasps> Ghost! 
The ghost is not a ghost. It is George in a blanket, and he wants to help look for ghosts too. Ghost! Ghost! OK, George, you can come with us. But it will be very spooky in the hallway. <gasps> no! George doesn't think it will be spooky at all. <laughs> It's extra, extra dark here. It's dark everywhere. Huh? Oh, dear. Peppa's <gasps> torch has gone out. It's too dark. Now, now, there's nothing to be frightened of. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> The lights are back on, but oh. now oh. there is a big mess. Oh. It was just a fuse. Oh, what happened? Uh, I think we must have a ghost. <laughs> Peppa and her friends love looking for ghosts, but they love decorating pumpkins even more. <gasps> George! Tonight... George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. Peppa <laughs> likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. Huh? You can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem! Paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. <coughs> Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak! And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> That was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. <sighs> oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, <sighs> um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is <laughs> buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet. 
to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like, George? Shoes! <laughs> Those are bowling shoes. George <laughs> loves to oh. go bowling. And he oh. loves bowling <laughs> shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <laughs> those are tap dancing <laughs> shoes. <laughs> They're very noisy! <laughs> George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes! They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. <sighs> George oh. loves clown <laughs> shoes. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <laughs> George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! <laughs> they are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like <gasps> new shoes <gasps> that are just like <laughs> his old shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! <laughs> George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. It is bedtime, Whee! but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Pepper or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story <laughs> to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh. <laughs> story! Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Pepper! <laughs> um, yes. Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. <laughs> Until one day she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur! Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. It's the dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. She tried giving him cosy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. 
did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> the bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish <sighs> the story? <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house? Please! Please! Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Hooray! This is the Rickety Rackety Bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations. Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make Pepper and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> the funhouse tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! Whee! And it's very windy. <laughs> <laughs> look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Yay! I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very fun. Today, Peppa and her friends are at the park. They're about to have a scooter race. First to that tree is the winner. Ready? Steady. Go! <gasps> My wheel fell off. Oh, dear. Oh, excuse me, Mr Bull. Do you know how to fix my scooter, please? Oh, I definitely do. I know about lots about scooters. <laughs> Mr Bull does mm. not know lots about scooters. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. Don't worry, I'm a bit of an expert at scooters. Daddy does know lots about scooters. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, good o. Do you want to race scooters with us, Mr Bull? Um, well, the reason I don't know a lot about scooters is because I've never ridden one before. <gasps> but it's so fun! Yeah, you can go really fast. And it's much better than walking. Oh, my. That does sound fun when you put it like that. We'll teach you. Just put one foot on the scooter and push forward, like this. Seems simple enough. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Remember to push forward, Mr Bull. <laughs> hey, look at me! I'm scootering! Wahey! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Now turn 
With the handlebars. You mean like this? Whee! Yes! <laughs> yeah! Mr. Bull doesn't know how to slow down. How do I stop? You need to use the brake, Mr. Bull. Brake? This bit? <laughs> oh, my! How fun! I want to ride down the hill again. Yay! Yay! Scootering is so much more fun than walking. <laughs> Pepper and Mr. Bull are tired from going up the hill. Going uphill is a bit more work than going down. Maybe I should go downhill again. Good idea. Mr. Bull loves riding scooters. Everyone loves riding scooters. Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! Me! I am! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. <laughs> and the brakes make it stop. Eek! And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie! Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <gasps> Remember to use the brake, Danny! Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go! Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> and Daddy Pig is putting the Christmas tree on the car so it can be decorated at home. Peppa is helping. Whee! Phew. Peppa? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've got all the new decorations. Birdie! Perfect. Now let's head home. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs>
Everyone is very excited to decorate the tree. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a wonderful sleigh. Hey! <gasps> Why have we stopped, Daddy? I'm not sure we're going to fit in the tunnel with this tree. Let's try going slowly. Snowing! Oh no! Bits of the tree are falling off. Hmm. We'll have to go the long way round. <laughs> wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> the trees on the road are brushing against the tree on our car. Oh, no! Maybe this road with no trees will be better. This road has no trees, so the wind is blowing the Christmas tree. All the pines must have fallen off on the way. But we need a tree for Christmas. Bertie! <gasps> George has given Pepper an idea. We can still decorate the tree and make it really fun and Christmassy. That's a wonderful idea, Pepper. Pepper and her family get to work decorating their new special kind of Christmas tree. Looks lovely. This bird thinks the Christmas tree looks lovely too. Birdie! <laughs> Wonderful, Pepper. Now the birds can have Christmas too. The birds love their new Christmas tree. Everybody loves the new Christmas tree. Ooh. Snap! Oh. Pepper is playing <laughs> games with her friends. I love playing Snap. I keep winning. I don't like Snap. Pepper would quite like to win a game. Snap! I know. Let's play Snakes and Ladders instead. Woohoo! Snakes and Ladders. But I was winning. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to win. Two places. Now I get to go up a ladder. I'm right near the finish line. Now it's your turn, Rebecca. <gasps> oh dear. Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake. I know. Let's play Marble Run. I love Marble Run. Marble Run! But I was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Yay! My pink marble is winning. I know. Let's play Pack the Parrot. Ooh. I love Pack the Parrot. But my marble is winning. It's going to pop up. I can't look. I know. Let's play Snap again. <laughs> snap. <laughs> snap. Snakes and ladders. Peppa and her friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning. Peppa? I 
think we all won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I think it might be time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> <laughs>